we travel now to the lush green pastures of the Emerald Isle, where when it comes to breeding horses, it's in their blood. The first horse I ever bought was a bay, two-year-old. Um, and uh, I put her in foal as a three-year-old. She was a very, very successful little pony. We had her for years. She spent a lot of her time here in Athenry with my uncle working on the fields. Its name was Spencer's Dream. I paid 80 pounds for her. I thought I'd won the lotto. It was so special. And uh, I really uh, went from there and we built up the stud. I have about 35 Connemara ponies now. We had more, but we have sold quite a few. Some are brood mares, some are lots of young stock. We keep some of our foals and we bring them up. They're very versatile. They are great for performance. They're uh, great for hacking out. They have a great temperament. And we've had a lot of success with uh, the Connemara ponies. This foal is by Caramore Shadow, our resident stallion. Uh, he's a very compact, true-to-type stallion, and the foal is really one of the nicest foals she has had. It's a filly foal, but it's very young. It's only about probably six weeks old. David is working uh, with me for, I would say now, at least 10 years. And he does all the farming work. He does the fences, he does the hay, uh, he comes in and feeds and does all the stables. Uh, he is one of the best guys, just totally genuine, honest. You always know where you stand with him. You can call him at any hour and he's going to be there to help. They're all different in like, you think Jesus a pony would be quite like, but they're far from it. Like compared to a big horse, they're way more, how would I say, I don't know, it wouldn't be great for words, but to be like, you couldn't, they could do something different every day, you know. When Michael uh, does the riding, that's mostly what Michael do. He, he rides and trains and breaks the ponies. I am so lucky to have him and he is uh, a big part of Cashel Bay. He, he is a top rider in my books and he has proven it. And he is, he's just such a gentleman on top of that. Well, the ponies that we breed here are, um, obviously we keep Real, real nice ones for ourselves, but we also sell really nice ones, you know. Robbie's a big believer in, it's not, it's not about how much we get for the pony, it's where it ends up, because he wants it to have a nice, a good life, a happy life, you know, and he wants to see it do something. There's nothing better than seeing a Cashel Bay pony in America or Australia, you know, doing us proud, like, you know, um, because at the end of the day, that, that's all that really matters to us, is watching the pony born in the field, heading off and making someone happy. You know, um, and that's that's what it's all about, really. You know, they were the main tractor, the Connemara pony. They're very hardy. They're very versatile. They were mostly used for bringing people to, to mass on Sunday, going to the shop, uh, doing, uh, bringing home the turf, bringing the seaweed up from the sea for the crops. They are one of the best ponies you can have uh, for working or for performance. My, my biggest achievement so far is, has been uh, winning Horse of the Year show with Cash Bay Rocket. And I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd get a chance to ride a Horse of the Year show. But, you know, I knew that we had the pony good enough, you know, and Robbie believed in me, like, you know, and I just gave it everything, you know, and I, I'll never forget when I was called forward, like, you know, and it just, it was the best feeling in the world, you know. Can't be telling any secrets. <laughs> um, what's my secret? Uh, well, for, for me, like, you know, I do a lot as babies with them, you know, because you know which one you're going to keep. Seabreeze Meyer was exceptional as a foal, and you know, um, as soon as uh, I seen him, I, I, I knew he was going to be really, really good. As a year and two year old, you know, we, we really got, like, you know, handled him a lot and taught him manners on the ground. When he was broken and back straight away, he, he, he started to learn, and he was, he was really, really exceptional under saddle, and he's very obedient. Um, he can have his moments, but so does they all, you know, and um, I suppose it's just being kind to them, really, is, you know, and, and, and that will pay dividends. Well, we, we show in hand here, and we also show ridden uh, worker hunter. We do a lot of young stock in hand shown, so we show anything from a foal to a yearling to a two-year-old to a three-year-old uh, stallion. So it's, it's a variety of things we do here, you know. When I see a pony uh, walking, 
I would pretty much know that it's going to be a good pony and that it'd be good on their saddle or good for breeding or whatever. Good mover, a nice presence. I like a nice presence in a pony. I like a, a very nice built pony, typey. I like to, it's very important that we keep the type in the Connemara pony. With a shortish back, a good back end, good front, nice rein, nice head with medium sized ears and a nice distance between the eyes. I like the eyes not to be too far back in the head and uh, just proportioned properly. Well, my intentions for the Cashel Bay Stud is to continue on what we're doing. Winning uh, in England, winning in Ireland. I'd love to win in Clifton again. It's a great, it's one of the largest uh, Connemara shows in the world. I'm very proud of Cashel Bay. That's where I came from, Cashel in Connemara. And that's why it was called Cashel Bay. Uh, I'm really proud of it and we have worked hard to keep a good name and it's been known worldwide and uh, we uh, <coughs> will continue to do that. Well we bring them to the, to the sea a lot, especially the younger ones you know, but we don't really bring them to get them fish, we just bring them to uh, get them used to the water and it really helps to build up muscle in them you know. Um, and they really enjoy it because they, it's in the actual fresh salt water, sea water, and um, it tends to you know, cool down their muscles and all that kind of thing, you know, and um, they just get one swim up and one swim down, you know, and if you do that three times a week, it just helps um, with any little injury or nick or anything like that, because the salt water is a natural healing and, and it just like gets rid of all that, you know, um, so that's what we do with that. and you can ride them as well if you want through the water and, and, and they really enjoy it, you know, so um, if you don't mind the cold, so that's, you know, it, it's a bit of fun as well for me. This is uh, where my home is and I, I bring these ponies up here um, mostly after they've been broken, um, just for a, a lot of hacking because it just widens their mind, you know, I guess them used to, have, I've seen out and about, the, the, it's, like you can say, it's wide open country, you know. Before I actually ride them into the water, I'd probably bring them up and drive them along, you know, and I'd get David to come up here with a, a really quiet pony and he'd ride ahead and, and I'd drive behind because the water isn't that deep uh, when it, the sea's gone out, you know. But, um, you know, when, when they're here, then when they're under saddle, they, they come along here and they have a bit of fun and we have even more fun because um, we can go on and have a good gallop or a good canter around, you know, and um, they really, really enjoy it. This is uh, Cash the Bay Prince Og. He's a, a four-year-old purebred Connemara. This is his dad, Cash the Bay Prince. Um, we bring the ponies here uh, as babies, three-year-olds, to get them used to the water and to get them just generally um, used to being out and about, you know, um, they, they, they really respond to it well and, and, and it makes them very, very brave as youngsters, you know, so, um, so we're heading across here to, uh, this is a, a small island and uh, it's, it's really, really good for them because they get to see a lot of things, you know, um, so they really, really enjoy the water and it's great for their joints, it's great for their little licks and bumps. And uh, yeah, it's just generally really, really good for them, you know. There's a, a big colony of seals here, you know, um, but they're probably, uh, they've probably headed out to sea, you know, because they've seen us coming, causing all the racket. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely place. Really, really nice. Uh, it's not my job because I just absolutely love it. They say you'll never work a day in your life if you do what you love, and I've yet to work the past 12 years because this I just love it so much. It's, I go home some nights, like not being able to sleep, looking forward to coming in to ride a new a youngster, you know, uh, because they're going so well. Um, you know, I just, I just love it. It's, it's, it's everything to me, it's my life, you know. It's, I couldn't ma imagine doing anything else, at the, you know, so I hope. I get many, many more years of going to highs and going to Liverpool and Dublin and Clifton and all the big shows, you know, so.